let them think they're a good white person. And accomplices ask, how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Men can single-handedly cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of. With 2.25 billion Asian women and half a billion white men. Very common among white women. What is white? What? You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act. Oh, the hatred of this woman. Or with a white person, they were acting entitled because they were white. A white driver cut you off when you were driving. They need to check their white privilege. You know, in this channel, I have been trying to raise a voice of protest against certain things that I deem to be wrong from a moral standpoint with a Christian perspective. One of the things now that I'm looking that's becoming normal day by day, moment by moment, is this anti-white theology. It is this racism toward white people. Now, let me say from the get-go, racism toward any groups of people is wrong. If it is done against the black man is wrong, the Chinese man is wrong, the African man or the white man is also wrong. And what we're going to be talking about today is a video entitled, What Are We Doing to White People? Friends, you will not believe how extensive, deadly, and pervasive this ideology to hate a Caucasian male a woman as a result of them being white and how acceptable it is and how very few are willing to challenge this. And here in this channel, we're going to do that because I look at every man as my friend, as a brother, and as a Christian. I'm entitled to care and love you regardless of your skin color. I don't like racism in any form, and I don't care where it comes from. And there is no excuse for it. That's why we got to get through this video. Listen, this young man here is going to put us to school. I'm telling you, brace yourself, sit back <laughs> and relax because we're going to have some serious fun with him. Um, by the way, if you're new to the channel, please give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon for more. Without further ado, let us now get into the heart of the message. Let's talk about what we're doing to white people. There's been something going on for a while now that we're being told not to notice. More to the point that we're asking white people not only to ignore, but to accept the rising tide of racial hatred against white people. In the past decade, there has been a noticeable cultural shift in what constitutes acceptable speech as it relates to white people. Back when I was a kid in the early 2000s, the mainstream American culture preached about respecting each other's differences and not seeing color. Nowadays, we say that not seeing color is racism, that you must see color. But the more I see how things are unfolding, the more I'm convinced that this is wrong. Back then, saying something offhanded about white people were seen as not appropriate, just as it would be to say something offhanded about people of any other race. But that soon gave way to our current times, in which there exists virtually no limit to what racial minorities can and do say about white people. I believe this is the natural outgrowth of a perverse ideology that teaches us that everything, every societal ill, is the fault of white people and that whatever prejudice acts we may inflict upon them does not constitute discrimination because we don't have the power to discriminate. And alarmingly, this is particularly pronounced in the younger generation. But is it true? Do we not have the power to discriminate? Well, let's see. First, let's take a look at the racial hatred at the interpersonal level. Wow, he is, he is spitting it. He is so on point on so many levels already. Wow. I'm just sitting here indulging this whole thing here because it is so true. I've, I've had several videos in this channel where I had to address. I heard a show called The Constructive Karen where the Black Lives Matter are asking for five things from white people and, and all these push 
and everything is fascist. Everything is racist when they try to create it from places where it doesn't even exist. You know, and I'm sitting out, I'm like, yo, could you imagine if this was done to the average black man? Oh, whew, the world will be turned upside down. But this is happening to the Caucasian male. This is happening to that Caucasian woman. Hmm? Because of the color of their skin, we blame them from all kind of wickedness. And I'm sitting back and say, I can't keep quiet. Uh, there is no way with a conscience as a Christian, I could sit back and watch this stuff happen. Because we are going right back to where things used to be. Friends, I am not going back. We're moving forward. In today's society, it has become somewhat fashionable to think things and say things about and to white people that would not be acceptable if it was said about any other race. True. We've been taught that this double standard is not wrong, that it is rather a form of empowerment. Mm. They'll attribute negative experiences that they've had with white people to their whiteness. You had an argument in line at the grocery store with a white person. <laughs> they were acting entitled because they were white. Mm -hmm. A white driver cut you off when you were driving. They need to check their white privilege. Wow. Your actions, your conduct, and your existence, in other words, boil down to your whiteness. Wow. Shamedly, at one point in time, this was how I used to think as well. And beyond the people in my circle, I noticed that many people of color have this sort of blase attitude. An huh. attitude most particularly pronounced when there are no other white people around. Things are being said not just behind closed doors, but out in the open. Mm -hmm. Not just between close friends, but between complete strangers. So here's the thing. This is something that I've experienced countless times. So I know that there are other people who are experiencing it too. I know it must resonate with at least some of you. Yeah. The difficulty here is that no matter how many anecdotes I share, they are just that, anecdotes. And people who refuse to believe that this is happening will just chalk it up to my experience as being a fluke. Or worse yet, they'll say I'm lying. So I've compiled some TikTok videos. I want you to take a look at the things that are being said about white people, mm. especially by the younger generation. Let's take a look. The kind of statements people wouldn't dare say about people of any other race. Take a look at what is stunningly in vogue in today's society and ask yourselves, where does this lead to years down the line? You have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group of color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to mm -hmm. bring your white friend. <laughs> like, don't just bring them. I might not be in the mood to deal with Wow. You see that stuff? You see that? You see how racist that it was? That's acceptable though. White shenanigans that day. That's that's all I'm saying. And another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like don't don't let them think they're a good white person. And accomplices ask. What? <laughs> that is crazy. And they support black and indigenous people of color. And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Mm -hmm. Single don't have babies is the best way to support oh, that is so evil cause the white genocide that they are so afraid of with 2.25 billion asian women and half a billion white men baby it'll only take two generations in two generations there will no longer be any blonde haired these are some things i noticed look at this ideology of this girl that is so demonic. Just about white American culture, being grounded is a punishment to them. That's what they call punishment. Mm. The least grounded, least balanced, most destructive race considers being grounded a punishment. Yeah. They also say really violent phrases. Like they say things like, kill two birds with one stone. Why do we have to kill the birds? Why is everything so violent? You know what is so disturbing about this young lady, by the way? Look at her chain. Look at her chain. This is the Haitian flag. She's Haitian. I'm Haitian. She's Haitian. She should know better. Because we don't talk like that. We don't talk. This is the kind of doctrine that she has imbued in so much of that anti white doctrine. Maybe she's the type of Haitian that was born here. Um, but a Haitian that were born in Haiti, like I was, and then migrated to the United States, we don't talk like that <laughs> because we know the difference. Um, anyway. Shame on her. Why do we have to kill the birds? 
Why is everything so violent? It's almost like one's language and phrases reflects one's nature. Wow. Mm. So that new uh, Jeffrey Dahmer movie on Netflix is the perfect example of the sensationalization of white violence. People have a much Serious? easier time sympathizing with white criminals than they do with black victims. And people think what? those are harmless, but they actually contribute to a much bigger issue. It contributes to the viewpoint that white people are less violent than everyone else and white violence is something to be consumed in media. And that is that is crazy nonsense. How do you align Jeffrey Dahmer's lifestyle to a race of people and not considering personal choice and one's character? That is diabolical doctrine. This girl is a lunatic. And this is how these people are talking. This stuff is fueling an amount of hatred that I think could spill into something worse than what we are ready for. That's it. What is with Caucasian people and like their inability to like read a fucking room? Like y'all act like you don't understand shit because y'all be the first ones during a conversation about the Holocaust to get so mad when black people be like, you do realize that the original Jewish people were black, right? White people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because, baby, you all are the people that need to learn that lesson. You serious? And history shows that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate, enslave and oppress, attempt to suppress greatness because you all simply don't have it, right? Here go <laughs> this girl got issues. You know, the level of ignorance uh, of these people, too, is something to think about. Uh, she is talking as if she has a great wealth of knowledge. Um, but again, uh, the original Jews were black. Not completely so. <laughs> and that's not to say there weren't black Jews, because when you say Jews, which uh, Jew are you referring to? Um, so there's a lot more to that. And again... Um, when you're talking about white people being racist, did she also know that um, many of the Egyptians were blacks? Yeah, they were black. Um, did you know that the Egyptians had put the children of Israel in slavery? Or did you know that? Um, yeah. So, in other words, blacks have also, has also, have also enslaved people in yeah. history. And blacks have all done, I've done very, very much uh, the same thing. So, in other words, this is not a matter of skin color. It's a matter of character, okay? The human heart is cold and cruel. Skin color doesn't really make a difference. Um, once you have the power to do stuff, you'll be so surprised the kind of stuff you will carry out. It's a matter of having the power to carry it out. So people who are talking like this, they really do not even understand the nature of what they're saying. And again, that's TikTok. So what do, I, what do we expect? People y'all come goblins who don't even live in the fucking city. Which, by the way, the Q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody stealing anything. Y'all wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it. So y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity. Thank you. TV is a necessity. <laughs> you stole the country, but you're living in it. So if you are so upset, why don't you leave? Well, here's the thing. How is TV a necessity? No, these people were thieves. They were stealing. They should have been locked up. Stop trying to justify the wickedness of those individuals who were looting stores and tearing apart businesses in the name of social justice. That's not going to fly with me. You're going to have to try this with somebody else. That's pure nonsense. That's not going to work over here. Look at, look at the kind of mental gymnastics she has to do to justify the wickedness of these people. Stop that. That's hypocrisy. If it is done at any other time, it is still considered wrong. Please, don't, t don't ever say TV is a necessity. How in the world is TV a necessity? You saying you can't live your life without TV? If, I, if you take away my television today, I'm not going to die. That is not a necessity. Let me stop. I feel like you're better than because people are out here stealing and oh, you would never. First of all, if you are a male monster, 
that is how your ancestors got everything from stealing. People are and that's a you know, people on TikTok, majority of them has no brain. I'm realizing that there is no brain or either there is no brain cells. <laughs> These people, they are crazy. That's very common among white women. What is white? What? You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act. Oh, the hatred of this woman. Act exactly like you. If you can find it in your heart this holiday season <laughs> to donate to the discriminated white fund, you'd be helping millions. Nothing says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you. F and nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity wow. looks like? Roaming Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. Explain to me why white people don't wear shoes outdoor, but wear shoes inside. You know, you could easily pile up a few videos about black people and make them look just as bad. You're just picking and choosing and saying things about their color. Stereotyping and, you know, using racist languages just because. That's easy. We can do this about anybody. Both white women, we are inherently a danger in spaces for black, indigenous, and other people of color simply by existing. What? <laughs> this woman. <laughs> hey, listen. You need to you need to retire and go sit down and do some thinking. You spend too much time watching TikTok. That's what your problem is. It's white cis men who are a part of the far right wing ideology of fascism. That is a true threat and the terrorism to this country. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, you a nut. See stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs. I hate all white people. I want all white people to go die. Die white devil, you cracker bitch. Uh -huh. Um, that's still not racism. You're not What? What is it then? Please help me out. What is that? If it's not racism, what do you call that? Not one of the good white people. Stop separating us from the bad white people. Don't sit out there in comments and say, we don't claim them. We are them. We are the ones shooting up schools. What? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Lady, speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. Don't speak for every person here. We are the ones raping. No, 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 no. Stop with the we. <laughs> I, I have a lot of white friends. We have a lot of church members. They ain't doing nothing like that. So speak for yourself. If you are there raping and killing and doing all that stuff, listen, let us know so we can call the cops because don't speak for every white person here. Please stop. We are that. We are the ones <laughs> She got issues. We are the ones raping people, the ones enslaving people. We're and I'll say it. <laughs> I hate being white. Yeah, which means I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> all white people are inherently racist. Yeah. Can you be racist against white people? Based off of the definition of racism, yes, but it's not going to hurt them and hurt their opportunities like it does people of color. Oh, is that so? Is that so? Why? Because of the color of their skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, lunacy. So you can, it's not like an issue. You can't right. oppress the oppressor. <laughs> people not understand that you can't be racist to white people it's it's impossible the ah. system is not set up that way you can insult white people mm -hmm. but it is not racism me calling a white what is person it? a tub of mayonnaise and a, like a flower looking ass it's not that's not mm -hmm. racist. you went all the way to africa to physically take black people from their homes shove them in on boats where a lot of them got diseases and died well let's talk about the africans who actually were selling the black man on the shores <laughs> it wasn't just like they went out there and going in people's home and start pulling black people and enslave them. No, they were already slaves ready to be sold. I'm not just defying what the Europeans have done, but I'm just saying like before you condemn the white man, remember he went to the market. Tell them where they could sit on a bus. Tell them which schools they could go to, which water fountains they could use, which bathrooms they could use. And that's sugarcoating it. Those are just terms. I'm not even describing all the disgusting things that happen. And they don't even want revenge. They are letting you guys skate by asking for equal rights. That's it. And you're still saying no? They are not as angry as they should be. Y'all are getting off easy and you're still saying no? Wait, wait, wait. Who is she referring to? Like, these people. 
who who's, which white person is saying no to you? About what? Really? And th these Haitian people, I don't understand how Haitian could be so racist. They should know better. Having the history that they had, I mean, even Haitian, Haitian, uh, I don't I don't get it. I, I just don't get the mental gymnastic. I don't understand the nature of the doctrine. I do not know what happened with this brainwash. Something happened to them. And we are seeing the results. Fuck you. Some people look at that and chalk it up to the grumblings of the powerless. That's the idea that when you have a power disparity, the less powerful sort of has this general society given leeway to complain about the more powerful. The villagers complaining about their king doesn't have the same ring as the king making side and crude comments about the villagers. Mm. But that's not what's going on here. Because although certain segments of our society refuse to believe this, even as evidence mount before our very eyes, in one side of the political aisle, people of color actually have greater power than white people. Ding, 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 ding. He said it. He said it. And that's exactly true. And that's the only way. That's the only way. Sorry. That's the only way you can... Where to go? This kid is this kid is is a smart kid. That's the only way you can go on to say the things you say. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. For the political aisle, people of color actually have greater power than white people. That is the truth that is not being acknowledged by the people that need to hear it because this gets in the way of them wielding that power in the way they want. Mm -hmm. Malignantly. Mm -hmm. I heard from somewhere that politics is downstream of culture, and I think that is certainly correct. We have a mainstream culture that tells us it's okay. To mm -hmm. hold prejudice and hateful view of white people. Yep. And our politics is then infused with this energy, and we see active, overt, and on the books racial discrimination of white people that those who are perpetuating this hatred is refusing to see as discrimination. They'll nope. say, no, 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 this is remediation. <laughs> These are the same people who are making tenuous arguments that some of our race neutral laws discriminate against people of color. Mm -hmm. And this is certainly evidence that in one side of the political aisle, people of color have more power than white people. Absolutely. If we didn't have the power, we wouldn't be able to put into place practices and policies that does this. That's what power is. Yeah. Things like Minneapolis local government agreeing to a contract with the teachers union that says white teachers must be fired first. What? New York City's government enacting a policy. That's really happening? <laughs> Lord have mercy. That is crazy business. We have having white seniors go to the back of the line on life-saving COVID treatment. Uh -huh. A college professor that says white people should be killed and facing no repercussions. Cornell University. You see? You see? I dare you say that about a black guy. You see, that shows you who's in power. I dare you say that about a Jewish person here. You, I, go ahead, say that about Haitian. See what happened. You see? Say it about the Chinese. That is crazy. You, you will not. You get in serious trouble. Serious trouble. University banning white people from rock climbing lessons. One of many, many, many instances of liberal colleges doing the utmost to exclude and ostracize white students. Mm -hmm. BIPOC only events equal no whites, but they don't have the guts to say that. Mm -hmm. so that is what that is. That's what makes it different than the murk rumblings of the common villager. The villagers have surrounded the palace demanding Mary Antoinette's head. The power mm -hmm. dynamics have shifted. That is a fact. Progressive media outlets do not cover these stories. Some people out there have no idea that this is going on. Mm -mm. But worse, some others out there know- I'm, I'm aware of it. I've been paying attention to that. I see the nature of it. It is deadly. It's all throughout the Black Lives Matter. All the Black Lives Matter protests was an anti-race push. They sound like they were standing for the oppressed. No, they were not. <laughs> they were just they were just stealing and robbing and and and, and spewing their anti-hatred uh, of of anti-white hatred. That was what this is about. I saw it. I see the videos. I pay attention to it. I I noticed it. Um, it is diabolical. It is, it is of the devil. I have no respect for this whatsoever. But agree with what's going on. Mm -hmm. And for those people to convince themselves that this is not racial discrimination, mm -hmm. they play mind tricks and word games. Yeah. They use phrases and talking points like, punching up, you can't be racist to white people. You can't oppress the oppressor. Me, <laughs> I'm acting oppressively, but I've designated you as the oppressor. So everything... <laughs> oh, he's so good. He is so good. Oh, please, don't quote him. <laughs> I know about <laughs> He is, he is all into that stuff. I, I will not. I stay away from that, from that guy. Infamous words. The only way to remedy past discrimination is current discrimination. Mm. Or when people say things like, what we're doing to white people is not racism because racism is prejudice plus power and we don't have the power. 
They use all this mind bending apparatus. It has nothing to do with so much power. Uh, all you have to do is hate someone, hate them for no apparent reason, rather for either their wealth, their knowledge, or um, color of their skin, or anything. You 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 have a perfect recipe for racism here. Apparatus to delude themselves into believing what they are doing faces no moral quandary, but in the back of their minds, perhaps in their subconscious minds, is racial revenge. We experienced it. You experienced it too. Mm -hmm. See how you like it. Mm. That people of color are using our newfound power to act this way and then pretend like none of this is going on leads yeah. me to believe that we would have done the same thing that white people did were we to be in their historical position. Let's oh. talk about what we're doing. Wait, 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 wait. What did I just do? Um. No, no, no. No idea that this is going on. They're from elite schools and hold mm -hmm. They use all this mind bending out revenge. We Lit I want to hear that again. Experienced it. You experienced it too. See how you like it. Uh -huh. That people of color are using our newfound power to act this way and then pretend like none of this is going on leads me to believe that we would have done the same thing uh -huh. that white people did were we to be in their historical position. Exactly. Exactly. There, he, 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 he said it. He said it. That was so on point. I'm telling you. You see, the thing is, humanity, we don't change very much. We don't change very much. Culture change, nation change, you know, civilization change, you know, technology changes and stuff like that. But listen, listen humanity, we don't change very much. Were we, if we were in the same position as many whites were during the times when persecution and slavery and all that stuff happened, let me tell you something. Blacks would have done the same thing. If the Asians had the power, they would have done the same thing because it's human nature. And also you have to take consideration the culture, the culture and the context in which these things happen. No justification for it. Evil is evil. Wickedness is wickedness. Period. It is clearly condemned. What I'm saying is if you had the same opportunities, you'd be so shocked how you would react. Now, listen, Abraham Lincoln, this is what he says. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Now, you, you, you didn't hear what he said. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. You see, the thing is, once you have the power, it's amazing what you will do with it. Most people think, I'm just, I'm going to be nice and kind and loving it. <laughs> yeah, okay, think again. Not when the power is in your hands. Most people don't know what to do with power. They will, they will deal with opposition. They will deal with strange and difficult circumstances. But when they give, they are given the key. When they have the, the ability to call the shots. Oh, whew, it's amazing what they will do. There's, there's a good experience that I've seen of a bunch of children in school. And the teacher was telling them over and over again, guys, stop making noise. Pay attention. Don't walk out of school. Stop fighting. And the te and teacher kept on telling them that they refused to listen. And the teacher came up with an idea and said, you know what? Since you guys refuse to follow the rules, how about you make the rules? So he gave the power over to, the, to them. And now the kids came together with rules. The teacher had about 12 different rules. Don't you gum in class. No fighting. No talking what I'm talking. If you have a question, put your hands up. Simple things like that. They did not want to follow 12. The kids come together. They conquered together over 60 to 80 different rules. They had rules such as you can't even turn your head to the left. You can't turn to the back. You can't talk while I'm talking. Crazy stuff. You, if you go to the bathroom, you have to come back within a certain period of time. Crazy rules they come up with. And what they came to understand, most people who are anti-laws who are saying, we will never do this. I refuse to be. Once the power is handed over to them, they do much worse than the oppressor. That's what the fact was proving. And it was mind-blowing to find this one out. So let's him finish now. Because such acts have its roots in human nature. Not white people. Nature. There we go. I can only imagine what <laughs> might happen in the coming decades when the demographics of the U.S. will have shifted such that white people will no longer constitute the majority. When the younger generation you've just seen have graduated from elite schools and hold positions of power in our institutions, our government, 
corporations, entertainment, news media, and so forth, how they might, in wielding the levers of society, be able to rationalize, using their adult brain, the hatred that was embedded in their minds during their adolescence. Mm. What we're seeing is just the beginning. To the white people who are watching, I just want to say, you are not an oppressor for refusing to accept an ideology that teaches people to hate you, mm -hmm. that teaches you that you are inherently bad, that your children are inherently bad, mm. that you are inherently racist no matter what you do or how you think, wow. that you need to repent by taking affirmative steps in your life to redress harms that your ancestors may have done mm. or the racist actions of other white people. In fact, you are not an oppressor, period. You did not choose to be born white just like any of us did not choose to be born in, your, in our race. And to ask of you at the individual level, for example, to give your life in service of people of color, to be used as physical barriers at protests, to give away your house to black people instead of your children, all actual things that have been publicly demanded of white people, wow. to ask this of you is morally reprehensible collective punishment. Yeah, it is. You are not under any obligation to carry yourself in any sort of way that others demand of you just because of the color of your skin. This you need to do this and you need to do that because you benefit from privilege thing is bogus. That's bogus. It's just a way for people harboring racial animus to attack you. Yep. To say that the accomplishments you've achieved in your life isn't yours mm -hmm. and to silence you. Mm. It is not you. It is this ideology that is wrong and perverse. Preach it. It is one cloaked in a shroud of pseudo justice and self-righteousness all the while excreting. He's preaching y'all. He's preaching. Toxic fumes of racial hatred. Mm. It blames all white people for the actions of their ancestors something you have no control over, while absolving black people of personal responsibility for their own individual actions by holding that black people commit acts of harm, for example, towards another community, that's the fault of white supremacy. Mm -hmm. White people are controlling them like puppets on the string. Mm -hmm. It's a backwards, transgressive ideology. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any hate in your heart but want to fight it as a matter of principle, this does not make you racist or bigoted. If you refuse to accept their premise in your head but are too afraid to voice your opinion, mm. You are neither a coward nor a bad person. If you're of a liberal bent, but there's a small corner in your brain telling you as you're watching this video that perhaps some of this is wrong, listen to your intuition. Maybe you think, oh, I agree with most of what the progressive left teaches about racial justice, but just now with some of this disagreeable stuff only at the extremes, I'm here to tell you that the rot starts at the core. Mm -hmm. This racial hatred of white people is a natural outgrowth, part and parcel of an ideology that attempts to indoctrinate us mm. into believing that there is current systemic oppression going on, that all racial disparities we see today is the sole result of oppression by white people, when there are other more plausible explanations to be had that these same people are silencing as impermissible hate speech. They're telling you, shut up, you'll take it, and you'll like it. Mm. But contrary to what they're saying, you don't have to take that. You can believe that the things that have been done in the past were morally wrong, yeah. as well you should, yeah. all the while believing that what is currently going on is also wrong. That's right. That we're going backwards, that this is history rhyming with itself, the table is turning in an eye for an eye manner. As the great Mahatma Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye will lead the whole world blind. The whole world the blind. <laughs> would sooner gouge everyone's eyes out than realize that true victory for people of color would have been having history record that when the power dynamics shifted, we treated white people with a kindness that their forefathers may not have shown our forefathers. Mm. But now, it will say when we gained the power, we turned around and started doing some of the same stuff to white people. Segregation. Social ostracization. Hatred sanctioned by government and law. And we're doing all of this while pretending like we're doing something valiant. Mm -hmm. We've missed our bus. But that doesn't mean that there can't be a course correction. Yeah. So, to some people of color watching who are engaging in this sort of hatred, whether or not you're acutely aware, the same people that act like white people as a collective are not people, but rather some pernicious alien force that has come to invade the earth. Mm. With this video, I implore you to ask yourself, what are we doing to white people? Mm. As some people love to say, do better. Wow. Guys, I'm going to put a link to his video. I got to end this video because I got to get to work. Whew. Wasn't that good? <laughs> that was fire. That was a good way to put it. And I think everything this young man said in this video, spot on. Spot on, spot on, spot on. Guys, much more could be said. And those of you who have hatred in your heart toward any race of people, and since we are addressing white people, I want to say, check yourself, do better, get rid of that stuff. Cause I'm going to tell you something. You ain't going to heaven with that. <laughs> Listen to this. Let bitterness and wrath and anger. Did you see that in the videos? Bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking, 
what must we do with these things? Put this stuff away from you with all malice. What does God require from us? Be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Oh, we need to have a forgiving heart toward humanity. We need to have a forgiving heart toward one another. We need to learn what it means to forgive. And if God has forgiven you, my dear friends, it is your duty to forgive somebody else. And let us not hold a person who is Caucasian to the degradation and wickedness of their ancestors. That is not, that is not their fault. They were not alive. They had no choice in the matter. Please leave them alone. Do better. Clean up your own house before you start going after somebody else's. But I'll end this video right there. Like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon. Link is provided below. Check out this young man. It was a powerful, powerful, powerful presentation. And it needed to be said. Well done. Well done. Well done. Until next time. And as always, remember to look unto Jesus and to live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.